There's no one who doesn't need repentance. You need it, I need it, we need it. And you can't come to God until you repent. He's not slow about his promise, as some men count slowness, but he's patient toward you, not wishing for any to perish, but for all to come to repentance. And there's a party in heaven when one sinner repents, when one sinner realizes I'm on the road to hell and I, I, I'm convicted about my sin and I'm going the wrong way and Jesus died for me and Jesus rose again and that person turns around, repents, and trusts Christ. Paul preached repentance toward God and faith in our Lord Jesus Christ. Has that ever happened to you? Has there ever been a party in heaven for you? Have you ever repented? Have you ever really seen the depths and the weight of your sin and said, Lord, I'm a sinner and I'm lost and I need you. Come into my life, Lord. Save me. Has that ever happened to you? There's joy in the presence of the angels when one sinner repents. And this is an opportunity today for you if you've never repented, if you've never turned from your sin, if you've never embraced the cross and, and asked Christ to save you. It's an opportunity today to do it so that there can be a party in heaven and a banner with your name on it. And this is an opportunity for you, Christian, who has done that, to say, change my heart, oh God, because I've gotten so cold and so callous toward people who are lost I've gotten to be like the Pharisees. I don't pray for lost people. I don't think about lost people. I am part of the jailbreak bunch after the sermon is over to get out of here as quick as I can. And I'm not praying for people to come to know Christ. Oh, God, change my heart. Would you let the Lord do a great work in you?